Good morning, everyone. I'm going to do a little bit of stretching in a seated position this morning. So just be careful of your candles in front of you and perhaps maybe set them off to the side a little bit. And I think we're spread apart pretty well, but just be aware that there might be a candle behind you as well. So if it's available to you this morning, let's go ahead and bring the soles of our feet together. And we don't have to draw them in so close, but just a comfortable place. And we'll sit nice and tall, maybe grab hold of the shins and pull your heart through a little bit, but relax your shoulders. We'll take a nice big inhale and sigh out the exhale, out through the mouth. <sighs> We'll do that two more times. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Let the shoulders fall and relax. And one more time. Beautiful. So we're just going to butterfly the knees a little bit and notice the sensation in the hip joints, in the hip flexors, perhaps in the knees. You're feeling that also. Just be nice and gentle with yourself. And then again, we'll sit nice and tall and we'll elongate the spine as we take a nice big inhale, but be very gentle with yourself as we hinge forward at the hip crease rather than the, the uh, waist. So we're gonna try and keep the spine a little straight. Maybe you can bring the elbows out in front of you. Just look gently down at the floor and breathe into the hips. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and begin to breathe in the back body. So notice the breath in the shoulders and the upper back, the breath underneath the ribs and the lower back. And let the weight of the head fall nice and heavy. Just release your weight to the support of the earth. And then when you come to your next inhale, just gently roll back up again, nice and easy. And then slide the right foot forward. <laughs> and we'll bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the thigh or wherever you can place it. It's not always going to be available to the inside of the thigh. <laughs> and then we're going to face towards that elongated leg. We'll inhale, lengthen the spine once again. And on the exhale, hinge forward and maybe just walk your fingertips down that leg and flex that foot there. And just come to wherever you can. So you're gonna feel a lot of sensation behind that leg and you can keep some softness in the knee, absolutely keep softness behind that knee. Maybe a lot, maybe a little. And just gently fold. And then we'll take an inhale and come halfway up. And on the exhale, fold again. And maybe you go a little further. And it's not a contest, right? We're just going to relax. Just relaxing. Allowing the muscles to gently open on their own. And staying connected to the breath. And then when you come to your next inhale, gently walk yourself back up again. Nice and easy. And then we'll change sides. Extend the left leg, bring the right foot to the inside of the thigh or wherever is comfortable. Turn to face that extended leg, flex the foot. Inhale, lengthen up the spine. Exhale, softness behind your knee. Just gently walk your fingertips down your leg, wherever you can go, and let the weight of the head fall. Release it to, to gravity, release it to the earth. And notice the breath in the back body. Notice the sensation behind that leg. Breathing in, breathing out. And when you come to your next inhale again, gently come back up again. And now we're going to slide both legs straight out in front of you and Really feel free to have a lot of bend in your knees here. So we're all at a different level when it comes to flexibility. Right? So we're going to inhale, 
lengthen up and exhale again, hinge forward with a straight back. So we lead with the heart, right? We don't lead with the chin. The tendency is to kind of jut forward, but instead we lead with the heart and gently fold over those legs. <laughs> Maybe you want to draw the sits bones back a little bit more. Whatever feels good. And again, let the weight of the head go. Flex the feet, draw the toes back. Relax the shoulders and stay connected to your inhale and exhale. Breathing in. And when you exhale, just let go even more. And then draw the navel in towards the spine as you slowly begin to roll back up again. Go ahead and bend your knees. Bring the hands behind you. Separate the knees a little wider than the hips. We're just going to windshield wipe the knees and the legs. So we'll bring the knees over to one side. Back up again, over to the other. Maybe you want to turn to look over the opposite shoulder, if that feels good for you. Coming the other way. And we'll do one more round on each side. Last one. And come back up. So let's go ahead and slide the left leg down. Just let that leg relax. I can sit here all day and do this. <laughs> and let's hug the opposite knee in towards the chest. Let the shoulders fall and relax. Just squeeze that in there. Maybe you feel the belly pressing against the thigh. And then circle at the ankle. Change direction. And, excuse me, release that leg. Hugging the opposite knee in. Big squeeze. Feel the belly. Press against the thigh. Relax the shoulders. And then circle at the ankle again. Change direction. Ah, and then relax. So let the feet and legs be nice and soft. We'll work a little bit on the arms. We'll inhale the arms up overhead. Grab hold of the right wrist with the left hand and side bend towards the windows. If you feel more comfortable with your knees, um, your legs together like so, that's fine. Inhale, come back up again. Grab hold of the opposite wrist and side bend. Coming back up. Release the hands behind the body again. Press into the floor. Bring your weight into your arms. Point your toes towards the front of the room. So lift the heart as you inhale. As you round forward, draw the belly in. Inhale the heart, arch the back, exhale round, draw the belly in, drop the head, one more round, in. arch the back, exhale round, and then come to sit nice and tall again, last pose, we'll inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, overhead, bend the knees, and hinge forward. Then slide the hands back all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward over the legs. And last time, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down the center line. And come into your meditation posture. Thank you. Thank you.
Today is December 26th. 360 days of 2021 have passed. And we are here, still alive, still breathing. We've survived another year of the COVID pandemic. Have you ever wondered what made you keep going all the way until today, the last Sunday of 2021? What was the purpose of your lives in this past year? This morning, together as a spiritual community, we are going to reflect on 2021. May today's letting go practice help us release any heaviness in our minds from our experience of this year. Three questions for our year-end reflections. This year, have I been busy scattering my thoughts into worries? Or have I been busy gathering them into a mind of equanimity? This year, have I been busy deeming my bright spirit? Or have I been busy cultivating wisdom? This past year, have I been busy creating wrongdoings? Or have I been busy creating blessings with my mindful choices? Each of us has tried to live fully for the last 360 days, hoping to accomplish something every day. We are grateful for the opportunity to review our lives. This reflection today can help us to plan the new year with a clear spirit. Just like filling a container, sometimes we fill a year with love and generosity, sometimes with judgment and irritation. While we cannot go back and change the contents of the past, we can look into the container we filled in 2021. What do you see in there? For this letting go ceremony, let us settle ourselves with a moment of silent sitting. Please please invite your body to sit comfortably again. If you need, you're welcome to wiggle your body side to side, back and forth. Adjust your sitting posture as you need it. I am sitting up tall and high. Open my chest and breathe softly and deeply. Drop all the tension from your face, neck, and shoulders. We sit in silence for 15 minutes.
Right now, I am sitting quietly with my candlelight. I will take this moment to look at the candle flame in front of me. It brightens and warms the space around me. I open my heart, letting the light and warmth pour in and letting my inner light shine forth. Breathe in, the light and warmth pour in. And I breathe out, my inner light shines out. Candlelight is a great teacher. You can watch the candle wax melting little by little. It disappears. The melted wax feeds the flame, bringing light into the world. In the same way, when we let go and let our ego-driven self melt away, we bring light into the world. As this year ends, we allow ourselves to be quiet and to reflect on past events, big and small, and ex experiences of happiness and unhappiness. We recall tears, frustrations, and blessings. Today, we honor the joyful as well as the painful occurrences and shortcomings of 2021. When we deeply listen to our hearts, we may hear voices of regret. I wish I had tried harder. I wish I had not been afraid to act. I wish I had been more patient. I wish I had been more mindful when I spoke. I wish I had taken better care of myself. I wish I had forgiven more. I wish I had loved more. I wish I had not wasted time. I wish. In order to support our letting go of any unskillful choices and actions, reverence will offer a repentance chant in Korean. The transgressions I have committed in the past are all caused by greed, anger, and delusion. They are created through my body, speech, and mind. I now repent completely. In our original true nature, no evil and no transgressions exist, but they arise from our judging minds. When our minds are empty and free, from judgments, transgressions vanish. This is called true repentance. Some <laughs> Sok 
일체 아금 개참회 죄모자성 종심기 심양멸시 죄영망 죄망심멸양구공 시즉명위진참회 아석소조제화거 개유무시탐진치 총신구희지소생 일체하금 개참을 죄모자 성종심기 심양멸시 죄영망 죄망심멸양구공 시증명위신참회 아석소조제하고 개유무시 탐진치 총신구희지소생 일체하금개참회 죄무자 성종심기 심양멸시 죄영망 죄망심멸양구공 시증명위진참회 We all have regrets. We all have regrets about things we have done or not done. And we want to leave these bitter and hurtful times behind us. Now we are going to record these regrets and shortcomings. In the paper of letting go list, in front of you or next to you, we will record any regrets, any negativities, any painful or unpleasant things that happened to us during this past year. You will be the only one who will see the, your list and later it will be burned. So do not hesitate to express any shame or regret that is deeply buried in your memories and emotions. Dear friends, feel free to write down anything that comes to your mind. If there are regrets or strong feelings from this year, write them down. If you remember any unkind words, write them down. If someone belittled you or treated you unfairly, write that down. If someone accused you wrongly, if someone betrayed you, if someone laughed at you, Write down those memories. If someone was dishonest with you, if someone 
deceived you. Write that down. Write down the names of those you want to forgive. Write down any part of your self-image you want to release. Let them all out and transfer them onto your letting go paper. Write down the habits, difficult states of your mind, and tangled aspects of relationships that you'd like to release. List any feelings of depression, any heavy-heartedness, or anything that has caused you suffering. This is a special ceremony between me and myself. When I no longer carry unnecessary things, I feel lighter and free. As I write down my regrets, shortcomings, and attachments, I am practicing letting go. I resolve not to cling to my past. I gather my mind and heart to release any karmic bindings so I can truly say Goodbye, 2021. Thank you for all the lessons. Goodbye to my past. Take your time to write those down. But once you finished recording your letting go list, please put it in an envelope next to you and feel free to seal it.
When you are ready, please walk mindfully to the altar with your candle and your letting go envelope. Place your paper, I mean envelope and candle on the altar and go back to your seat. Reverend Yu will demonstrate it first. We have one more friend to finish his work, so we'll wait. A powerful ending brings us a powerful beginning. Now I invite you to join in bowing meditation. 
Reverend Yu will guide us to this practice of bowing. So you may remain in your seat. Today, let's practice a little special form of uh, meditation, bowing meditation. To some of you, it may not be that familiar, but in the Zen and <coughs> Tibetan tradition, it is uh, very much widely practiced and uh, a popular practice. Especially at the end of the year, in many monasteries, uh, they prostrate uh, 1,000 or even 3,000 times. So for me, I probably 20 years, I tried uh, 2,000 times. Uh, it took uh, 10 hours. <laughs> <coughs> so think about all our thoughts or emotions that lead us to distress or suffering, uh, whether it can be depression, disappointment, uh, frustration, or uh, comparing mind, whatever they are. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about the root of uh, these uh, thoughts or emotions? What could be the root cause? The root of all these uh, thoughts or emotions are our sense of a self, our notion of selfhood is the ground for these uh, thoughts or emotions uh, to arise. Why do the wind blow? On the moon, there is no wind. Why? There is no air on the moon. But because of the air, the wind blows. Because of our idea of ego entity, all these uh, negative uh, thoughts or emotions arise. So how do you understand or define Enlightenment. Many masters define awakening in a very different way. But in the Zen tradition, just like the Heart Sutra says, uh, enlightenment is the realization of no self. No self or emptiness means uh, what you think uh, of yourself is just uh, Mental construct, it's not the reality. So, why they practice uh, bowing meditation as a form of uh, spiritual cultivation? When you move your body, your thinking mind start to vanish. That's the first reason. Especially when you involved a little physically demanding activity. The second reason, when we prostrate, the full prostration, we place our head on the floor. Our head symbolizes the heaven. This floor symbolizes the earth. When the heaven becomes united with the earth, they become one, then we reached to the universal truth of uh, oneness. It is uh, a great way to dissolve our ego. So when, you, when we prostrate, it is not uh, worshiping some deity. So it is uh, the path to reveal our true self or original mind. Reverend King Gyeong-il, who 
is the president of the One Buddhism Graduate School when he was a pre minister, when he was in his uh, mid 20s. He, even though he was a pre minister, he could not become motivated uh, to walk on the Dharma path. So he could not become motivated to practice uh, sitting meditation, Dharma study, etc. So at the time, the head of Dharma master was uh, Venerable Tesan. One day, he asked to his teacher, so I think I'm not cut for priesthood, so I better leave. <laughs> then the Venerable Tesan replied, when you fall down 100 times, but when you get up 100 times, so you will make it, you will become successful. But when you fall down once, even though it is a one-time thing, but if you cannot get up, you will not make it. So his world was big encouragement to him. Now he's a wonderful minister. It's a very much widely respected minister. So anthropologists define humans, homo erectus. What does a erectus mean? Standing up, standing up. So when we place uh, ourselves on the floor, then our old self died. When we get up, our renewed self will be born. So that, can, that could be the meaning of a prostration. Let me demonstrate. If it is our will to the full prostration on the floor, but uh, you can make a standing bow if you want, or you can do the mixture. You can join palms together, relaxing. Yeah, why don't you get on your feet? You can gather your feet together and uh, Keeping your back erect, you can lower your butt, yeah. And then place your hand on the floor and lower your whole body as low as possible. And then palms together again, and then get up. Okay. Let me show you one more time. Relaxing your shoulders, kneel down, place your hands on the floor and lower your whole upper body as low as possible. And then palm together in front of the chest. And then get up. Okay, so it is the way to drop, release our thinking mind to reveal our true self. So we will practice.
Every moment of our life is an ending and a beginning. A beautiful ending and a beautiful beginning start in our hearts with gratitude and forgiveness. Now I'd like you to join your palms together and bring your palms up to your forehead, all the way up, and wiggle your body and make a smile. And down, down, down to your heart center. In honor of the ending of this year, I'd like you to join me in singing Namu Amitabul. Say Namu Amitabul with me. Namu Amitabul. One more time. Namu Amitabul. May I return to my true nature within. Namu Amitabul. 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 Namu
타불 나무 아미 타불 나무 아미 타불 나무 아미 타불 나무 아미 Thank you, everybody, to join this special ending year end reflection service today. On January 2nd, the very first Sunday, we will offer the New Year's Day service. On this day, Venerable Chuksan Nim, the head Dharma Master of the USA, will deliver a New Year message to us. I hope you can join us and to begin the New Year together. As I conclude today's service, I need to share another sad news with you. Reverend Na, an acupuncturist, Kyomun Nim, is going to say goodbye to us as she is parting us because she is going to begin her new career, new Kyomunim life in an individual one Buddhist temple in Houston, Texas. So she is going to deliver her farewell talk on January 9th, which is the following Sunday. I hope you all come and listen to her story and share your gratitude with her. So January 9th will be her last Sunday with us. This concludes our year-end reflection service. <laughs>